on Saturday, Strath Ewan, which is next to Arthur's Creek, about an hour from Melbourne, had about 200 people living in the town. Lovely little rural community, a lot of hobby farmers and some orchard owners and people that have moved there for the lifestyle. Just after four on Saturday, a fire started at Mount Disappointment and about 4.30 it hit Strath Ewan. Some people decided to stay on and defend their houses. A group of about 20 people went to a farm owned by a man named Barry in the town. Firefighters had long said that that's the safest place to go in a fire. One of the men there who's a, uh, a firefighter but also an army paratrooper went out to check something in one of the paddocks. He found three young girls riding their horses so he ushered them up to Barry's farm and they ended up having 19 people at the farm. They're among some of the people that have survived in the town. At this stage there's about 30 people that local firefighters believe are dead in the town so that's about 15% of the population and in a town like that obviously it's going to have a great effect on some of the firefighters who are trying to find people that they know in their own towns and many of them say that they've been down cellars and found dead bodies their own homes perhaps have been lost the paratrooper who went to the farm made it inside just before the fire would have hit him the flames were actually licking at the door and actually made it into the house but they started to feel the tin roof uh, lift off the back of the house so pretty scary stuff um he said it was like jet engines coming at them the sound of it was horrific he said and one of the the man actually who's leading the operation david mcgay has been a firefighter for about 40 years he's been through ash wednesday but he just has never seen anything like it another man mark roberts who's the captain of the Doreen CFA he was moved to say that it looked like somebody had actually napalmed the town it was something like a war zone from what I could see most things had burnt down you could just see old bedheads standing in people's yards burnt out cars and even the sports reserve had one tiny bit of green on it just the cricket pitch and the rest of it was just burnt out and we later found out that a man had actually died running across that ground which we started in Arthur's Creek today and we went up a, a couple of hills and there was basically nobody around but there was police tape across several of the gates which of course means people have died within those houses then we drove through to the town and one of the firefighters said he'd never seen the paddocks so clean I think was the word he used he said there's just not a stick in sight and there wasn't and through the town many of the houses the only thing left was the chimneys a couple of exhaust fans and gas cylinders had been thrown you know up to 150 meters we saw some homes that the fire had made it just within meters of the door so they were some of the lucky ones 